Hey friends, welcome back to Law Creations. I just wanted to share a quick little video in process, uh, painting uh, this Jason Voorhees figure up from Friday the 13th, uh, sculpted by Wicked 3D. And I'm actually taking a few, I, I guess, artistic liberties with uh, this particular figure. So as much as I love this figure, it, um, it really had some pre-sculpted areas where there's uh, they pretty much uh, want, wanted to show all blood and splatter effect, uh, splatter effects, which uh, definitely go along with this figure. But for my particular model purposes and display purposes, I didn't want to display the entire piece full of blood. And uh, I love this. I think that's very fitting for the, you know, the subject matter. For this particular piece, as is all the splatter effect, but I took the liberty of just adding like mud effects along with some areas of uh, blood effects. If you guys can see that, uh, yeah, it's just for my particular display purposes, and it, it still comes across as uh, gritty and nasty, and uh, may have overdone it with the mud, but that's okay. This is uh, this is my particular figure. I'll display him. But I think it looks really good. I'll go in and obviously add some different tones to the mud. You know, areas that are wet and maybe dried. But, uh, yeah, that's just just things you can do to uh, make things work uh, according to your, your liking. This is a fantastic model, fantastic sculpt. I, I absolutely love the pose of the figure. And rather than printing the base, I'm going uh, to make a custom base for him. Uh, and that's kind of what I want to start doing with my 3D prints. I, I want to print them, obviously, paint them, and then uh, display them in a custom base. This way here, I still keep, you know, keep kind of my edge with uh, display making. At the same time, uh, creating models. So I uh, kind of killing two birds with one stone, uh, kind of, sort of. So, and, you know, to finish a model before I start another I know for some models, I'm not going to be able to do a base for, especially for like bus. But for this particular Jason Friday the 13th figure, I think it's perfect. And the only thing I, so let me show you what I use for the mud texture. I use this Vallejo mud texture and I just went in and, and dabbed it, you know, and I didn't like paint it or rub it in. I just dabbed it on to make it look, uh, look fresh. Let me see if I can give you an idea of how, how this stuff works a very little bit goes a long way and um let me just find a paintbrush and we'll be good to go here it is yeah a little bit goes a long way so i'll just i'll just dab it here and and get a little bit on the brush that you can see there it's just a little bit if you guys can just a little uh dab a little dab will do you so over here i have a um kind of a, a darker brown area and I'll just go in and and just dab it and it gives you that it gives you that effect there if you guys can see the texture it gives you texture rather than just a paint job and for this particular display the the mud obviously you want texture and I think the mud is fitting because you know it's a lakeside home uh a lot of his kills were in in the stormy rain and and the way my imagination goes, you know, when he's on the hunt and, you know, picking off his victims, he's in the mud, he's getting nasty, he's he's just doing what he needs to do to uh, to keep the uh, the scares coming. So that's the idea. And then I go in with a, uh, I'll just give it a little bit, because I, I need to add some to the boots as well. I'll give you an example of what they put into the sculpt which is, is really cool, but you see that on his right sleeve here? That's blood splatter. And it was it was sculpted in, in everything, in, in the back of his of his shirt over here, it, which is great, which, you know, it, it can be wonderful for a lot of people, but for me, it, it was just a little much for my display purposes. And uh, so I just kind of make a... I make do with it, and I just knew I really wanted to paint this figure up. 
I painted his head sculpt up just with a couple simple acrylic uh, paints. I use some, um, obviously for this here, you use a little bit of blood effect and that's just a watercolor pencil. And that's what I've been doing, let me show you, in areas where, actually, you know what, I'd even do his boot for you guys. Let me just give you an idea of, of doing his boot. So you just come in and and just do it a little, little dabs to give you an idea. And then if you feel like you put too much, you can just take a paper towel and, but you just kind of just want it randomness. That's all. And I'll go in and make it, you know, look a lot better than that. It's hard to do on camera, but that gives you an idea. Obviously his shoes will be pretty muddy, just like, you know, the, the hem of his pants. But yeah, that's, uh, that's one thing you can do if, if, you know, you want to, you know, create a model that's, you know, more along the lines of, of, you know, your display purposes. But that's what I did with this gentleman here. And so I, I do use a watercolor pencil. I brought a 36 pack at Ollie's. This is just a Sargent brand. I never really heard of Sargent art. I think I have, but not for particular watercolors. And I just go in and I use another uh, small paintbrush here. And, I, you know, I get my, uh, get the paintbrush wet. Let's see. I mean, it's not rocket science, but just to give you an idea where I'm adding the, uh, I just come in and I get some of this watercolor. Nice part of this is if you don't want, if you make a mistake with it, it's so easy to clean up with a little bit of water. So I'll just come in and just look around on this particular figure. And I'll just try to take a peek where I want to add a little bit. So we'll do on his, on his sleeve here. And I'll just go in and, and, and I guess the word of the day is dab it. And if, if, like that is to me is a little too bright, so I'll go in and just and just kind of like tone it down a little bit if you guys can see that there. And I'll do the same thing here. You can do a little bit running on his hand as such. But I don't mind the blood purpose. I just didn't want it so much in your face. I, I, I kind of want it blended in with something, so I thought the mud would be a good get around. So that's what I did. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. I, I'm not an expert painter by any means. I just sit down and paint because I love it. And, you know, I think a lot of it is gritty and a lot of it is, is, uh, oh, here's a, here's a perfect example. Let me try a different red. Let me try a better brand. This is AK Interactive Red, which I think is a lot brighter. So over here, he has like a, a slash in his leg, if you guys can see it. And then I'll just go in and the seam as such. Yeah, that's a much brighter red. And that gives you an idea of, and we'll just, if you make a mistake, you just go in with a little bit more in certain areas. Sorry for hitting the camera. I suck at doing work while on camera. That's why I don't do a lot of videos. I don't have the greatest setup or the knowledge. We can even go here on his right arm and make that in, inside here a little darker to give it that variety. But hopefully you get the idea. Even though you're not a good painter, just sit down, paint, have fun, enjoy it. Uh, and yeah, I'm looking forward to building a base for this guy and keeping the, the dioramas fresh. But I think he's pretty awesome. So I just want to share with you guys this particular figure. I'll uh, obviously do a complete uh, reveal with his uh, his completed finished base. All right, guys. I, I know it's a little quickie, but I just wanted to show you. Okay, thank you. Have a good night.